Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your man Ghost back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Strong Tools Laser Bore Cider. This particular cider I picked up off of Amazon for about 45 bucks. In the description it read that it fits between a 17 caliber all the way up to a 50 caliber uh, gun. This can be a handgun or rifle. Also, this particular site came in red dot or either green dot. I chose the green dot. Unboxing it, it came out, had this nice plastic case to it. Uh, you could put stickers on it or paint it or whatever have you. It came desert tan. I'm not a fan of the desert tan. I'd rather it be black, but didn't have a choice on that one. Also, if I need be, I can always spray paint it. Um, this particular case isn't waterproof. It is definitely not waterproof. So you want to also make sure that you keep it away from water. But it is a nice sturdy case. You can put it in your tool bag, your gun bag, your safe. Um, toss it around, but, you know, don't be too rough with it. But it is a pretty good uh, case that comes with it. Uh, inside the case, kind of doing everything with one hand, but um, it do come with a warranty card. All of the components do come with a one-year warranty, free replacement on all of it. You have your instructions, obviously. Inside the instruction kit, it do tell you that this particular kit comes with 12 different adapter sizes. Um, each adapter size do range in caliber, so you do have to pay attention to that. It also gives you the specifications of the laser sight itself. Also, it shows you how to install it. Now, I did see in, on Amazon in the uh, comment section that a guy said that this laser wasn't stable or it wasn't zero or whatever he mentioned in it and i believe he was referring to this part of the bore sight being off um in my opinion i believe he may have installed it incorrectly because it is possible you have to make sure that this whole tube is inserted into your burrow you put your adapter one of your adapters on the back side of it um and I'll talk a little bit more about that also. And then you insert it all the way into your barrel until your taper fits snug against the end of your barrel. Okay. Um, these are your adapters. Like I said, it comes with 12 adapters. You got two sets of batteries. And you come with a small screwdriver. Uh, the instructions do ref uh, refer you to use gun oil why doing it and I did use gun oil and it made it a little bit easier to use uh, let me pull out one of these adapters kind of doing everything with one hand so it's making it a little bit difficult to unbox this part of it but we'll get it the smaller the adapter in per the instructions it is numbered on the inside so that you can reference which adapter you would need. But the smaller adapters don't have a number on it. And let's see if I can get you to see it. They have these tabs on them. So this particular tab, I mean, this particular adapter has four tabs. So this would be your number four adapter. All right. And then you just look back in your instructions and see which particular caliber that goes to. And you use it at that point. These screws at the back of your adapters, I did not tighten that all the way down to the end of my uh, bore sight. I did not tighten it all the way down. What I did was just lose it, left it a little loose, insert it into the barrel, and then screwed uh, my laser sight into it to kind of get it to lock because it's one of those things where the, t the more you screw it, the tighter it gets. So that's how I did that to kind of get it to go through. Um, like I said, this particular bore site isn't that expensive. It's very inexpensive, and it may be something out there a little bit better. However, this particular one works for me, and it may work for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave your questions or comments down below. Let me know, and um, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.